What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we are going to take a look at all of the releases for the month of June. So we had a really big month in the month of May. There was a lot of big releases mainly uh, being Bowman and Mosaic. Those were big retail releases so we haven't had really much uh, retail going on since uh, Prism and Optic at least as far as basketball is concerned concerned so it was definitely nice to get some more retail and unfortunately it looks like it might be quite a while until we get some more retail basketball it might be until we have chronicles i think that is scheduled for july so it's not looking it's not looking great for retail basketball in the month of june but there are some pretty cool releases that i do want to touch on so uh, that's what this video is going to be so real quick I am gonna go ahead and start the uh, recording on my iPad so you guys can see what I am looking at as well. And if you do see me looking down, that is what I'm looking at. So we are going to start on Cardboard Connection like we always do for these videos. This is uh, typically the calendar that I use to see all of the upcoming releases. Uh, this website and then Blowout uh, Cards. And if you, if you click on the pre-orders tab, that will show you all of the upcoming releases as well. So those are the two main sites that I look at. So the first one I wanna mention is on 6.5, and that is the 2020 Bowman Megabox Chrome Baseball. So I'm actually recording this video on June 4th. I know I'm a little, I'm a couple days late on this video, but it is still very early in June. Haven't really had any major releases, so I do wanna go ahead and get this out there. So I'm recording this on the 4th. This is scheduled for the 5th, but I have seen people finding these at their local targets uh, as early as yesterday, actually, and then a couple more today, and it should be widespread tomorrow. So be checking your targets if you are interested in the Bowman uh, Mega Box. These are Target exclusive. Uh, that's what it does say uh, in that first sentence there, uh, in a format exclusive to Target. And these actually sell for $19.99. So I know it says Mega Box, but it's it's the price of a blaster. And I think, um, I, I'm not sure on the setup. If you guys want to check this out again, this is cardboardconnection.com. But uh, I do think you get one or two packs of those Chrome cards and it has that mojo look. So uh, I'm not sure what the Jason Dominguez is selling for, but I would guess that is a pretty valuable card. The cards look amazing. So I will definitely be heading out this afternoon and then tomorrow on Friday, uh, which is typically when I go out to find retail, I'm gonna try to find some of these Bowman Mega Boxes in my area. So that is the first one I wanted to touch on. That one will definitely be a fun one to rip if you can find that. But uh, I do think that one is gonna be a very, very popular release. So good luck finding that. And then the next one is also scheduled for tomorrow and that is Court Kings Basketball. Now. Personally, I'm gonna pass on that and I'll get into that in a minute. This is gonna be one of the few products that I'm gonna talk about that I actually do want to go over the checklist. Um, so this is 2019-20 Panini Court Kings Basketball. This does come out tomorrow. And as you can see there, uh, the hobby boxes are selling for about $340. And as you see there in the second sentence, the SRP, <clears throat> excuse me, the SRP is $100 per box, so these are selling for quite a bit more than they uh, they should be, which, I mean, that's typical for basketball products these days. And this is on Panini's website currently. It will not go on sale uh, until tomorrow, and they do not have a price listed for the product, which that really bothers me how they do that. They throw up a price about an hour before the, the uh, product releases. Here lately, that's what they've been doing. And the price is, uh, they're basically matching blowout. So I know I, every time I do one of these videos the past couple of months, I've talked about how the MSRP means absolutely nothing because they are basically throwing up their hobby boxes at whatever they're going for on blowout. And blowout actually has these listed for $350. So I would expect Panini to be somewhere in the three to $400 range for these boxes, which for this particular product is absolutely crazy. I know uh, for Prism, Optic, and Mosaic, and Select, those prices are somewhat justified. You can get some monster, monster boxes, but for the most part in Court Kings, it is going to be a very, very rough product. If you're a big fan of Court Kings, I would highly recommend you jumping in some breaks. Do not risk getting a hobby box. And like I said, I do wanna jump into the checklist here. This is an absolutely brutal checklist. This is probably the worst autograph checklist I have ever seen. 
So uh, there's the breakdown for the hobby boxes. You get two autographs or relics. So you're not guaranteed uh, you know, a certain amount of anything. It's probably gonna be one auto and one relic, but if you did, if you did get two autographs or two relics, uh, you know, don't be surprised. It's two autographs or relics. And then you have uh, four different tiers of rookie cards. So uh, one being the most common, four being the most rare, two inserts and one parallel. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on the base set. There's the different rookies for the uh, different tiers. And now let's get into the autograph. So like I said, you only get, you're probably gonna get one autograph per box and one relic. Uh, that's probably gonna be pretty standard. But let's take a look at this autograph checklist. It is brutal. <laughs> so uh, the brush strokes autographs checklist. I mean, there's maybe one person on there that I would want an autograph of, and that is Magic Johnson. I can't find a, a single other player on the on the list that I would want an autograph of that would probably have a value of more than fifteen dollars. So that's the first uh, autograph checklist. Now let's get into the fresh paint. So this is gonna be your rookies and you have a checklist of 45 rookies. So if we're, if we're, if we're being real, uh, there's probably three or four rookies that are gonna carry any value. That's Jaw, that's Zion, that's Kobe, RJ Barrett. Um, I, I mean, those are, the, those are your four main guys that are gonna carry any value at all as far as rookies go. And let's just take a look at uh, the, the the print run for Zion. So most of these rookies, you can see, they are print run. Um, the highest autograph starts at a number to 149. Now let's see if I can find Zion. Uh, Zion, number 43. So his start at, at 75, where most other players start at 149, his is cut in half. So you're... I mean, your odds of hitting a Zion Auto are so rare in this. They did that similar to uh, Crown Royale. Crown Royale released, and for whatever reason, Zion's Autos were way more rare than all the other players. So let's get into the Air Apparent. And again, this is gonna be a rookie checklist. And again, you're looking at 40 rookies, and the same deal, you're, you're looking for Zion, Jaw, Kobe, and maybe one or two others, RJ Barrett. And let's find Zion. So you can see most of these are numbered to 149. That's the starting um, parallel. So let's see if I can find Zion. I found him earlier and he was short printed again in this one and I cannot find him. I'm sorry guys, I cannot find Zion. There he is, number six. So again, starts at number to 75. So short, more short printed than all the other rookies, which I kind of like because it makes his autos more rare. They're more valuable. But at the same time, I mean, that's like the one guy that you're looking for and you're not going to get it. So moving on, the high court signatures. Again, just absolutely brutal. I mean, there's not a single player other than Montrez Harrell who I would want. And that's just because I'm a U of L fan. So... I mean, just a brutal, brutal checklist. And then you get into more guys who you don't want. And then the only uh, checklist of, of signatures that you would actually want is these legacy signatures. And there are uh, eight players on there, Charles Barkley, Durant, Rodman, Kevin Garnett. So some solid players, that is it. So like I said, guys, the most brutal autograph checklist I have ever seen. So please do not waste your money on Court Kings. If you wanna hop in some breaks, hop in some breaks, but I would absolutely not get a box, especially if it's over $300, just don't risk it. Uh, moving on, on uh, June 12th, we have National Treasures Basketball. I'm not gonna spend any time on that. These boxes are way out of reach for most people, and myself included. I know the first off the line, I believe sold out at 7,500 today. It did hit the floor. Um, and if you wanna maybe hop in like some serial number breaks for National Treasures, go for it and hope that you can get super, super lucky. But even break prices on that are gonna be insane because that is just so high end. And uh, moving on, next one. Most of the releases I will say for June are towards the end of the month. So we're not really gonna have much the first couple weeks of June. 
Uh, moving on, on the 24th, we have a highlighted clearly authentic baseball. This one is pretty fun. It's only, you're gonna get one encased autograph and it's a pretty low end product. So by low end, I mean, it's pretty inexpensive. You're gonna get one card. It is gonna be an autograph card. And typically these are about 70 to $80. So very inexpensive product that most people could afford. And I do think these look really, really awesome. It's basically just your tops series one cards uh, with autographs. Um, that's gonna be like the main thing that you're looking for as you see there from the Jordan Alvarez card. So very, very nice looking card. And it's gonna be the, the name clearly authentic. The cards are clear, you can see through. So I might pick up a box of that depending on the price. Like I said, there's they should be somewhere around 70 to 80 bucks. And moving on to the 26th, we have Panini Spectra Basketball. So this is one that I'm looking forward to. Again, I am not going to be picking up a box. These are gonna be very, very expensive. As you see there, they are looking at over a thousand dollars. And Spectra is another product that can be pretty hard to hit uh, solid stuff. This is another one of those products that has a huge checklist, huge autograph checklist. Um, so I'll probably jump in a break or two of this and just hope to get lucky. But um, the checklist isn't out yet, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about this. But as you can see there, uh, Spectra, I really, really like this, the look of the Spectra cards. Um, especially they have the uh, Nebulas, which are one of ones, which look amazing. So that is one that I'm looking forward to. And the next one that is going to be a big release in June is Topps Series 2 Baseball. Now this one's kind of interesting because Series 2 is usually just an update of Series 1. It's uh, rookies who weren't in Series 1 who uh, you know got called up or had been playing well. But since baseball hasn't been going on, I'm not really sure what they're gonna do with series two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is what that is my understanding of series two. It's rookies who have been performing well or got called up to the big leagues. So not sure what they're gonna do with series two, but I know all of the uh, you know the top series are always big releases, so that I'm expecting that one to be a big one, and that one should be in retail format as well. And then the next one that I had for June actually doesn't have a release date on this calendar. It might have gotten pushed back. I know on blowout uh, cards, it does have a pre-order release of June 26th as well. And I would not expect this to release on the same day as Spectra, so I think this one might get pushed to July. But I do just real quick want to mention Obsidian Basketball. This one, depending on the price, I might try to pick up a, a, a box, but uh, you know, looking at 600 bucks, uh, that, that's pretty steep for this product. I did, I was, uh, I think I got a one or two boxes of this last year and then I was in a bunch of breaks because I really liked this. I thought it looked amazing and it was, uh, it was fairly loaded. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, too hard to hit like some, some big cards. So I really, really liked Obsidian. So, uh, don't know if that one's going to release in June or not. That one might get pushed back to July. But that is really gonna do it. Uh, those are, were the main products that I had, you know, highlighted for June. Like I said, not really the biggest month. We had a ton of stuff come out in uh, May in retail, especially. And June, it's looking like it's gonna dry up a little bit, which is kind of unfortunate. But hopefully, towards the end of the month and then July, we will get a lot more products. So that is gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and let me know what you guys are looking forward to for June.